Hi, I'm Anna. I'm fat. I'm happy. Here's what I eat in a day. Had some leftovers for lunch. We had burrito bowls, so I had some rice, some fajita vegetables, some cheese, some corn salsa, some pico de gallo, some avocado, and a kitty cat on the side. I finished season 10 of Vanderpump Rules today, so lots to talk about. But first, a treat, salted caramel truffle, and then after work, I had one some popcorn. And then I tried to eat some of these Oreos, but they had gone bad, so another little piece of chocolate. My fiance got home from work, so we started cooking dinner. Dinner. Made some vegetarian sausage pasta soup with a lot of spinach. Big splat on the shirt, though. Red sauce, only downfall. Ben made this jalapeno cheddar pull-apart bread, which was delicious. I forgot to take a video of the soup, but here's some of the bread. It was very yummy. And then, of course, I needed something sweet. So last week, I made a cake, and this is all that's left. So I had this little s'mores cake. Hi guys, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. Remember, I'm fat and I don't eat healthy. Today for breakfast, I am having some pizza with some ranch. Every time I show y'all that I'm having pizza for breakfast, there's always those one or two haters in the comments like, oh my God, how is she eating pizza for breakfast? Like, oh my God, public schools literally serve pizza for breakfast, so I have no idea what the big deal is. But anyways, today for lunch, I decided to have some ramen. Inside of my ramen, I added two soft boiled eggs, chili crisp, and some lemon. I don't know about y'all, but if I'm having ramen, I need some lemon. Now that I think about it, I really wish I would have added some mozzarella cheese because I know that would have slapped my ass so freaking hard. Today for a little midday snack, I had some of these crunchy cookie M&Ms, and I have no idea if this is normal or not, but it literally turned my blue finger. Tonight for dinner, my mom made some Salisbury steak with mashed potatoes, corn, and some homemade French bread. I have absolutely no idea how she made the French bread, but it was so stinking good. It was so pillowy, so soft, and so buttery. The last thing that I had for the day was a haagen ice cream bar. Y'all already know we gotta eat all of the chocolate before we get to the vanilla. But like I always tell y'all, that's enough about me. What did you eat today? And yes, I really wanna know. Bye! <laughs> what I ate in a day as a fat person who doesn't spend their whole life worrying about losing weight. Haha, ha, I know what you're thinking. She's eating Oreos for breakfast. I'm actually on five different medications and you have to eat before you take them. And I accidentally woke up at noon. So I needed to have something in my stomach. So that's what I had close by. But once I got my life together and I emerged, it was time to make a real breakfast. I've been absolutely obsessed with Aldi lately. And this is one of the things in the frozen section that everybody said was good. There are these little like oatmeal protein bites with maple and brown sugar in them. I don't know. I thought they'd be interesting. Serving size is three. So obviously I made four because those those three things would not fill me up even with the oreo appetizer but yeah and i have air fly air fly, i have air fryer liners from amazon i know that it's lazy it's just easier for me that way but coffee is never an issue for me i love making my coffee in the morning and i put my vitamins next to my nespresso so that way i don't forget to take them we love to see it while i was waiting for my coffee and my breakfast i remembered i had an ice roller so that's what this is but yeah if you watch my last video you know that i'm trying not to spend money eating out so that's why making my coffee at home is so important and plus i just like it it tastes better to me but yeah these little protein packed little ball thing they're like the same consistency of a hush puppy on the outside and it was not my favorite at first taste well first of all they were really hot but i did not love the taste at first but then it grows on you and then i didn't like it again after eating it more so uh, i got the maple brown sugar kind i want to try the berry one next time i ate that as i watched real housewives of new jersey 10 out of 10 for lunch, I decided to make a chicken quesadilla. I buy these at Sam's Club. It's this already pre-cooked chicken that you just nuke in the microwave. And again, I'm about easy here. But I use the carb balance tortillas also from Sam's Club. Got some salsa, got some sour cream. If you don't eat sour cream, you're weird. It is so good. And this is my second cup of water. I love water. These little tumblers definitely do make me drink more. I know that sounds silly, but once I finished my quesadilla, I was still a little bit hungry. So I got some more salsa and sour cream and got some tortilla chips to eat it with. Then for dessert, Aldi. Again, I just freaking love Aldi. They have these like pumpkin whoopee, I don't know what the freak it is. So good. And then, yeah, I'm sorry. I talked about not wanting to eat out, but then McDonald's was calling my name. And so I door dashed it. I started thinking about ice cream and their peanut butter crunch, uh, not Frappuccino, McFlurry. Just, it just hits every time. It was so good. And you know, if this keeps me from jumping off a bridge, I'm fine with it. So I got my usual order. I got a large Coke, peanut butter, crunch McFlurry, double cheeseburger with no... <laughs> with no ketchup and add mayonnaise and some nuggets with ranch and fries. But yeah, not every day looks like this. So don't judge anyone. Love you, bye. Hey besties, here's what I ate in a day as a fat person who doesn't spend their whole life worrying about what they eat and losing weight. And this is a realistic what I eat in a day. 
So I woke up and got ready for breakfast. I just had some frozen waffles. I've really been craving them lately and they just hit the spot every time. So I popped those in the toaster and then I got my coffee started. I put my multivitamins next to my coffee maker so I remember to take them and it works. And I'm a gummy girly for life, don't come at me. I made a iced caramel latte and then I flipped the waffles around to make sure they get coated and toasted, what the freak ever, on both sides. And I also cooked another one because who in the heck only eats two waffles? That doesn't make any sense. And I would have had four, but there was only six left in the pack and I wanted to have three for next time. But anyways, if you've watched me for a long time, you know that I'm a dipper. I don't want the crusty, dusty syrup all up on my hands. So that's why I choose to dip instead of eating it with a, well, I guess I could eat it with a fork and it wouldn't get on my hands, but whatever. The coffee hit, the waffles were good. Also, Bestie Alley keeps her syrup in the fridge. I didn't know that was a thing. Growing up, we never put our syrup in the fridge. So let me know what you do. Anywho's it, it's time for lunch now. I got my life together, I put clothes on. And when I tell y'all this has been my hyper fit, <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? When I tell you this has been my hyperfixation for the last week, I have genuinely eaten this like five days in a row now. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that I'm obsessed with the toasted ravioli from Aldi. So I put that in the air fryer and while that's cooking, I make my sub in a tub. I'm like three months late for this, but once I started eating it, I cannot stop. Y'all were here with me for my first video and now I make it daily. I got a new chopper. It's in my Amazon storefront if you care. But this combination literally sends me out of the bot. Out, it's, it's an out bot. I, I have an irrational fear that I have a brain tumor. So sometimes whenever I go off like that, I'm like, huh, maybe it's my brain tumor. But anyway, this meal sends me into orbit as an out of body experience. But yeah, I just feel so good after I eat it. It doesn't feel like I had like deep fried food. It just smells so fr- I just, ugh, oh my gosh, it's so good. And shout out to Aldi, man. It's not an ad. Aldi, if you want to sponsor me, what's up? And yes, I eat off the floor. It's my house. It builds up the immune system. Well, Aldi has been killing it with everything and it's so cheap. I spent like $20 on all these supplies, if that, and they just last me. Ugh, so good. So I put everything that I would put in a sub, lettuce, cucumber, ham, cheese, that sometimes sticks, but whatever. And banana peppers, mayo as the dressing, salt and pepper. I know it's plain, but it's so, so, I just, I cannot tell you how good it is. And yes, I eat half the bag of ravioli. Please leave me alone. So I ate my lunch while I watched Real Housewives. I'm on season 12 of New Jersey. It is so good. And you just see the light come back into my eyes after the first bite of it. I can, I don't know what it is. I make it. I don't put crack in it. It's just the most satisfied food. I've just, I, I don't care. For dessert, I had a cutie little cookie with the icing. They're the best. Then I went on an afternoon walk. And when I came back, I ate the Trader Joe's apples that I got with some peanut butter. It was so good. Sour at first, but wow. It was so good that I got another thing of peanut butter, which like, of course I could have just used it out of the jar, but that's no fun. There's the satisfying look of a fresh thing of peanut butter. And Cosmo knows peanut butter. He's just sitting there like, mom, I want it. But he normally doesn't even beg because he doesn't have people food. But then for dinner after that, I had a buffalo chicken pizza that I got from Aldi a couple days ago and I just nuked it. It was really spicy for some reason. And I took my walk so late, I didn't get to have my afternoon smoothie. So I ate it as kind of like a dessert. It's literally just frozen mango, pineapple, all that junk with tropical juice. And it tastes just like you get it at a smoothie plate. I ran out of fruit though, which is why I had a small smoothie. But Cosmo looked like he was interested. So I drank my little smoothie and that was it for today. I can't guarantee I won't go eat some chocolate after this. But I don't care, I eat what I want. Love you, bye! What I eat in a day as a fat person that doesn't give a flying fuck about losing weight. Two sausage egg McMuffins. Miss Riff Mode Activated. All set to get bullied by seven-year-olds. Carrots and hummus. Strawberry and crustable. Salmon rice bowl with avocado and seaweed. Apple slices. A Walmart corn dog law. Chocolate turs leches cake okay love you bye. What I eat. A day is a massive fatty who wants to enjoy weight loss. So for breakfast, I had a fake bacon butty, uh, 10 out of 10, love that. And then it actually got quiet on this day for all of about 10 minutes. So I tried the new Jammy Dodgers. Well, I think they know. I had two of them with a cup of tea. And then, oh, obviously I had to dunk it in me to a cup of tea as well. Um, 
and then for my lunch I had a pot of noodle because you see the thing is as soon as I start having something I've got to have it every single day until I absolutely hate it so that's that's a bit of a problem there and then um, my knees stopped working so Brendan ordered some pasta because I couldn't stand okay bye <laughs> Linda Thought Butter Only to another what i eat in a day remember i'm fat and i don't eat healthy today for breakfast i am having leftovers from last night's dinner yesterday was my birthday's mom so to celebrate we had dinner at cheddar's i had ordered this sandwich that was filled with turkey ham and cheese and then it was battered in some sort of like funnel cake corn dog batter it tasted like something that you would order from the carnival i know this is a drink not an eat but i wanted to show you anyways my mom picked me up a watermelon lemonade from dutch bros today for lunch i am having this santa fe pre-made salad that i got from walmart it came with lettuce, cheese, carrots, chipotle chicken, roasted corn, and some tortilla chips. I wanted to spice up the salad a little bit, so I added some croutons and a little bit of lime. It also came with some sort of chipotle dressing, but I didn't use it. I just used normal ranch. Tonight for dinner, I am having some bagel bites that I cooked in the air fryer. I don't know about y'all, but I'm a dipper. I'm a sauce girl. So I am going to be dipping my bagel bites in some ranch and some hot sauce. Tonight for a little late night snack, me and my boyfriend went to the corner store and I picked up this ice cream. These were a 10 out of 10. Definitely slapped my ass so freaking hard. But that's enough about me. What did you eat today? Bye. What I ate today as a fat stay at home mom. Yes, bitch, I said fat. I already know y'all are gonna come for me in the comments for what I ate today, but whatever. First, we start off strong with breakfast. I make that every day because my daughter needs to eat just boiled eggs, yogurt with granola and raisins. Now, before y'all come for me for eating cake for breakfast, have that same energy for your mama, ho. Do you tell her anything when she's seen her palos and con cafecito? Didn't think so. Anyways, then my daughter asked me for a snack. And of course, just for her to throw it all over the carpet. Then went over to my brother's house and she only wanted the weenie part from the corn dog. So I ate the breading. I was curving this, so I ate it. Doritos salchicha con chile limon. I was looking mad because we didn't have limon in. Then I ate my dinner. Before y'all talk shit once again, have you ever heard of Taco Bell? Yeah, well, I basically made that, but at home. So before you can do the same, don't say shit. Anyways, then we finished off with some more cake because a bitch has to eat something sweet after dinner. At this point, I don't know if you can tell on my face, but I'm so over it. Bitch, I'm tired from today. But anyways, I was trying to let my daughter be an independent queen. And look, she took a big-ass bite of that frosting. And I realized it's too close to bedtime, so I took the whole thing away because I need my sleep. But anyways, that's all we ate today. Before you judge me, judge your mama, ho. Hey, thank you. Bye. This is what I eat in a day as a fat person who doesn't care and spend their whole life worrying about losing weight. What I am focused on, however, is not eating out as much. If you've been following me for a long time, you know I DoorDash or go out to eat like every single meal, so I need to stop that. So we're trying to get that going. I made some pancakes this morning just because I realized I had some Bisquick, so I was proud of myself for that, for not DoorDashing McDonald's. It's not that I don't know how to cook, it's that I just don't feel like it. My dad was a chef for crying out loud. Getting coffee out, though, is not a problem because I have my Nespresso and it literally scratches the itch so well that I don't even want Starbucks. I know, that's crazy, right? I should be an espresso spokesperson. It has saved me about $1,000 and I'm not even exaggerating. Any who's it, here's my pancakes with some syrup. I don't like syrup on my pancakes. I like to dip it. That's a little bit weird thing about me, but whatever. I only ate three of them because I let my body tell me when I'm full. Next, I'm eating Whataburger because I was craving it. And just because I'm trying not to spend money eating out doesn't mean if I'm out, I'm gonna not get food. For example, today I was doing a lot of errands and so I didn't wanna go all the way home. So I just went to Whataburger. And let me go off on my tangent here real quick. There are a lot of really sad people in this world that don't understand that everybody's genetic makeup is different. Some people that are bigger, it is outside of their control. Some people have thyroid issues. Some people have PCOS. Shut your gosh darn mouth. You would not be making the comments about what people eat if the person was skinny, I promise. So go away, you suck. And I mean that. I'm allowed to have whatever, that's it. Anyways, then I chugged a whole thing of water because I drink a lot of water throughout the day. Look at my cute cup from Simple Modern. Having a big cup like that really does make me drink more. And then for dinner, I made million dollar pasta, million dollar spaghetti, whatever. 
It's a menage of things. But I was meal prepping for the week mostly because apparently I don't know how to cook for one. But I had a lot of gross stuff today. I didn't feel good. So I wanted to have some vegetables, you know? So I just pulled some butter noodles to the side because why are they so good? And then ate a whole bag of broccoli. Again, F off. I'm allowed to eat whatever I want to. Ooh, it makes me so mad. I never make these videos because of that. But anyways, here's me drinking another water because hydrate until you dehydrate. The motto I live by, really. But then my million dollar spaghetti was finished. Didn't it look beautiful? It literally tastes so good. It's like I put crack in it or something. Like, I know I don't. I watch myself make, but it's so good for no reason. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not gonna eat a singular carrot and a slice of apple who needs nutrients to live whatever way that may be. Because I would so much rather be fat and happy than someone who has a sad life that always puts others down even though they know nothing about them. Ooh, it makes me so mad. Anyways, that's what I ate today. Love you, bye.